Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We've talked a lot about wood decks on this channel, uh, and we still haven't covered everything. We recently got a question about uh, what does it mean to be a plank owner? So, traditionally, ships had wood decks. This dates obviously all the way back to when ships were completely wood. But even as ships started becoming steel, they would get steel cross pieces and then wood decking. You can see this on the cruiser Olympia at our Independent Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. By the time you get to New Jersey, you have an inch and a half thick special treatment steel deck that's part of our armor system with two inches of teak on top of that. Uh, as we've said in the past, the teak wood one, gives you better traction than the steel, uh, and two, it's insulating the steel and the living compartments under the steel from the sun. The Iowa-class battleships were the last wood deck ships in the Navy. Modern ships do not have wood decks anymore. They have actual insulation in the overheads, unlike the Iowa-class battleships, uh, and they use a paint and sand mixture called Black Beauty, to create a non-skid coating, which gives you better tread on the steel deck. This one lets you see the steel underneath to make sure it isn't deteriorating. And two, it doesn't rot like the wood on this ship. Uh, wooden deck ships had to have their decks replaced uh, about every 20 years by the time New Jersey comes along. Uh, going back to the age of sail, it was about once every three years that you'd have to replace your weather decks. Uh, and a considerable amount of crew time was spent holy sewing the deck and doing other things. So, uh, the actual point of the video, plank holders. Plank holders are those individuals who are on a ship's commissioning crew. For a normal ship, you'll have a single set of plank holders, the people who are assigned to the ship when she is first placed into commission. On New Jersey, because we were taken into and out of commission on four separate occasions, we have four sets of plank holders. The crew that was on here in May of 43, the crew that was on here in 1950, the crew that was on here in 1968, and then the crew that was on in 1982. Plank holders are entitled to a piece of wood from the deck of their ship when that ship is scrapped. Naval History and Heritage Command takes some of the wood from scrap ships and stores them in case people contact them wanting their plank. Now, a typical plank on the ship is four inches wide and eight feet long. You're not entitled to an entire plank. You get a couple inch piece cut out. For some of the ship's commissions, such as the Vietnam Commission, when they replaced part of the teak deck to recommission the ship, they cut it up and made plaques and handed them out to plank holders. For other commissions like World War II, uh, those plank holders are never going to get their plank because the ship isn't going to be scrapped. Naval History and Heritage Command has no planks from this ship. Uh, now there's a misconception out there that the planks have individuals' names written on them, and that's not true at all. Uh, and in many instances, they're not recorded. We, we aren't quite sure who all of our original plank holders were for the, for the various commissions. Uh, you couldn't write on the planks because these planks were constantly getting sanded with holy stones. And during World War II, they were painted over and sanded bold again a, a number of times. Uh, so that information isn't there. If you think that your relative has a plank on board, you're going to be disappointed. You, you won't be able to find it because it never existed. Now, if you are interested in owning a piece of teak from Battleship, New Jersey, we are replacing it. So we're selling the originals uh, in a variety of sizes. Check the description down below for a link to our store. Uh, and if you're interested in bigger chunks than we offer, reach out to us via email, uh, info at battleshipnewjersey.org, and we'll be able to set you up with, with uh, other sizes and price points. Thanks for watching today. If you have any other questions about wood decks on ships or what it means to be a plank owner or anything else, drop them in the comment section down below. 
we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, remember, if you would like to support the ship, check the description below for ways to donate to the museum and uh, to our YouTube channel. And as always, uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe to be notified when we put out new content. Thanks for watching.